Today on Man the Helm, we are going to get real. So one of my things for life in general is mental health. Um, uh, Personal to me, when I got out of the military, I wasn't quite sure what I was going to do. And I was fortunate enough to fall into a job where I could pay the bills almost immediately. Uh, Definitely piss poor planning on my part, to say the very least. But uh, nonetheless, it was still fine. But then, you know, when I started to do, you know, the podcast stuff and kind of put myself out there, as far as being a musician, it was harder to kind of have that positive reinforcement because I was fighting everything in here, you know, all that self-doubt, you know, watching people online that are immensely more successful, you know, and just seem like it's easier for them when in reality it's not. So today's video, I'm going to give you guys five tips that have helped me out. Tip number one, and probably the most important one. This is one of the hardest ones to do, though. Do not worry about the numbers. The numbers are completely irrelevant. As far as your likes, as far as the subscriber count, you know, and I'm referring to like the social media thing, but even like in, in real life, you know, playing gigs, having somebody that, you know, or having a band that, you know, you're really proud of and Next thing you know, you play a gig and you're playing to the walls, you know, it's, it's really discouraging to a certain extent, but the reason why you started playing wasn't for social media numbers. It wasn't, you know, to impress a large group of people. You started because you loved doing it. So just remember why you started doing these things in the first place. And, and just kind of have that self-reflection and, and figuring out if I'm not enjoying this, then why am I doing it sort of thing? If you're still enjoying it, then yeah. But if you're not, you need to have that self-reflection. Tip number two, do not try to emulate other people on the internet. There is only one of you and you are unique to yourself. The problem is, and I'm guilty of this, I was trying to emulate people that I admired and I was falling short because I was comparing myself to those people that have been doing this for a heck of a lot longer than I have. And it was never a good thing. So comparison is a thief of joy. Just do not compare yourself to others. Be your own individual and you will be just fine. Number three, Every single person, whether they are a musician, whether they are a content creator, whether they're an influencer, insert whatever your favorite person is, they all have these off days where they feel just as inadequate as you do. Don't let anybody tell you any differently. It's a normal human emotion. There is nothing that anybody could tell me that would make me think otherwise because everyone I've spoken to, whether it's people at my local level, all the way up to people that are at the pinnacle of their career, still have that self-doubt within some aspect of their life. It's completely normal. Four, opinions of others generally do not matter, especially opinions of people on the internet. People that you know in person that give you advice, I might, you know, pay attention to what they have to say, especially if they care about you. People on the internet are under no obligation to make you feel good. And 90% of the time, if someone's, you know, saying something mean to you online, all that is, is them, you know, taking out whatever frustration they have in their life on you. Don't pay attention to the trolls. Don't feed them. Just kind of look at the comment and Go right on by. The thing that I've been doing to help me out with this especially is I turn my notifications off. I'll post whatever I'm going to post on whatever social media platform. Turn my notifications off. I check one time a day now. To my emails, I checked any notifications for any social media one time. And that's it. I have a set time of day where I do that. Might be something you might want to try out. It's been working out really, really well for me. And last but not least, number five, stop worrying about creating original content. You 
like I said earlier, you as an individual are going to approach everything differently, whether it's music, playing live, the touch and phrasing of your instrument, whether you're putting, like, like I said, whether it is music that you're actually playing, content that you're putting out, you do it your way. No one else can do it your way. You might demo a pedal that somebody else has demoed. Guess what? It's not going to be the same as theirs, and that's the best part about it. Being honest and authentic to yourself first and foremost. So I know this was a bit rambly, so I'm trying to do this thing on Mondays where I think about things that motivated me. Maybe we'll call it the motivational Mondays, you know, instead of because everybody hates Mondays, right? But no, we're going to get motivated on Mondays from here on out, okay? So if you like this type of content, let me know in the comments down below. Also, if you're not subscribed, consider subscribing. I really appreciate it. Regardless, I'll check everybody on the next video.